Why is food so nice? Why? Why is it so lovely? Why does eating it create such a feeling of pleasure? Why is it so hard to let go of food when you need to diet? I had a a little bit of epiphany about this over Easter when I had an experience that I'll share with you in a minute. Um, the science behind why food is so nice is pretty obvious, really. Um, eating particularly high energy foods that are high fat and um, high sugar that release a lot of energy in us are what we're hardwired to uh, want um, and to enjoy because they give us or our, they give our inner caveman and cavewoman that um, quick source of energy that we would have stored or used at times of famine um, and when we had the marauding hordes and T-Rexes looming, I know that's historically inaccurate, but they, they would have helped us to survive and given us a really quick fix of energy. Um, interestingly, um, I uh, went on a course for um, parenting uh, autistic children, as one of my children is on the autistic spectrum, and we were taught that um, the actual act of chewing, so this that motion there releases serotonin which is a feel-good hormone and um, so we were taught that if we had some fruit pastels which need a lot of chewing or even strong sucking has the same reflex same response well if we get it into our if we if our autistic children who are about to have a bit of a meltdown have that quickly enough it can help them to actually calm down the meltdown before it happens um, you know this is proven scientific stuff um so there's no wonder we like to um have a good old munch of of uh, the chewy fruit pastels uh, frutella was always one of my downfalls um breast milk is very sweet it's another scientific reason why we want to eat um and why we want to have sweet things um it's very sweet and um and it is full of um high energy for the baby and the baby enjoys sucking it in order to survive you know, the caveman enjoys eating in order to stay alive. It's a real basic survival response, both in um, an adult caveman and a baby caveman and in modern day people still there. We still have a real primeval core that drives us uh, in a lot of what we do. Um, and on a, another very basic scientific level, the um, the, it helps us to dis or helps us as cavemen to and women to distinguish the ripe berry fruit from the unripe berry fruit. So if, if it was unripe and, ugh, and we didn't want to eat it, then and that would have caused us tummy ache. Whereas the yummy, lovely ripe stuff that again gives us that instant source of energy is lovely to eat and won't give us tummy ache. And so we're going to want that. Um, another reason why it's nice to eat is that when we eat together, um, feel good hormones are also released. And um, that is a form of social bonding that helps the, um, again, the old primeval um, um, group to stay together. Um, so there are a vast array. There's, I mean, I've, I've given what, four or five reasons there why eating is so nice on a very scientific primeval level. I had an experience of this myself recently where um, normally as part of my maintaining, so I, um, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I've lost uh, seven and a half stone uh, four years ago now using Cambridge Weight Plan and I've maintained it for four years. And one of the ways I maintain is to keep my carbohydrate levels fairly low um, during the week and then I'll relax a little bit more at the weekends. But I tend to still stick to quite low glycemic index foods and avoid carbs as much as possible and go for the more higher protein um, and high fat things. Um, so there was I, um, Easter holidays just came round and um, the whole family were off and um, one of my sons was cooking some pancakes um, and uh, he unexpectedly made me some as a little treat because we, we hadn't stopped for lunch and it was very nice of him and because he'd made them for me I wasn't going to say no um, so I sat down and um, there was the sugar and the lemons and the pancakes all made and I uh, put the sugar on and the lemon juice as my son watched and um, was smiling away because he'd made his mum happy rolled up the pancake and um, uh, put my spoon in took a mouthful <laughs> Ollie, this is lo mm, 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 mm. 
as my son makes another one smiling away, slips the next pancake onto my plate and I can't even probably talk. I'm so enjoying it so much. And this reaction was fascinating from from someone who tends to avoid carbohydrates as much as I can now to have a big hit of the carbohydrates in the flour and the sugar and to literally feel physically feel the response inside of me was so interesting um on many levels one I could feel as I was eating it my brain just going ping 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 full of what I can only describe makes me sound like a total food addict and I am a reforming food addict I will I will be the first to say that I could feel the um feel good um, serotonin and reward dopamine receptors in my brain firing off as they received um, all this chemical stimulation from the food that I was eating. I was suffused with what I can only describe as joy um, and pleasure and niceness. It was nice. It was lovely. And it was such an interesting experience to have that. And it made me think how all my life really I have managed any emotion so good or bad by using this reaction that I've just described so when life isn't going so well and I'm feeling a bit rubbish I can dumb down some of the rubbishness that I'm feeling by triggering off that reaction and it and it literally numbs it I, I describe it as a form of self-medicating but that doesn't explain does it why we do it when when times are good you know when when we want to have fun we want we feel well I want to do it too and I want to have fun because it's not fun if I can't and for me I think it's a form of enhancing that fun and and creating even more of those feel-good hormones it makes it feel even better the experience that you're in so you know, when life is hard, that's and when and when difficult situations come into our lives when we're trying to lose weight, it's no wonder we struggle. But you know, it provides that instant fix, doesn't it? It it fixes momentarily, momentarily. I know for me, within even as I'm eating, when I'm when I'm eating something like this to placate me and to help me cope. I've got that devil on my shoulder going, you really shouldn't be doing this. You really shouldn't be. Stop, stop, stop. And the and the angel is going, shut up. I know, I know I should, should stop, but I'm not bloody going to. I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to, mm -mm, not listening, not listening. Talk to the hand. I'm not listening. And that that's the conversation I've got literally going on in my head as I'm actually eating. So I'm not even really, really enjoying it because I've got that debate going on um, as I'm doing it but I am because of those hormones that have been fired off inside of me. So leaving that behind is really hard. It's really hard when you've got stuff going on. So how on earth, when you think of it from that perspective, how on earth do you do it? How? And for me, it comes down to two things, two ways. Um, one is that the benefits of losing weight must outweigh for me the benefits of the food that I'm going to eat and the, and that reaction that the food gives me. So for me, I have to have a really, really powerful reason to either lose weight or to, um, to maintain my weight. So I've always got the next thing I'm aiming for in maintenance that I want to look good for, feel good for, um, feel proud of myself for. I've always got that next goal in mind. Um, and the same applied whilst I was um, losing weight. I had some really, really powerful goals. So getting my engagement ring back on again um, when I hadn't worn it for eight years. And um, uh, there were loads and loads of other goals I had. So really strengthening your goals and imagining yourself all the time so that you can pull on that when you feel the pull of the food. Um, and that and wanting that nicest of the food well make sure if it's a if it's some scales make sure that the lure of the food doesn't overwhelm your goals make sure that the reasons why you're doing it and make sure those reasons are really emotionally powered um it's not enough just to say i want to be healthier i want to be thinner not enough it's got to have an emotional emotionally charged reason and the other way to deal with all this is to learn ways to manage in a different way when life isn't so good 
So for me, I've had to learn how to turn to yoga. I've learned how to take time out for myself and look after myself, which I wasn't doing before very well. Um, I'm reading more. I'm learning to play the cello now. I'm doing a lot more just looking after myself so that I don't feel I have to look after myself and create those nice feelings with the food. So learning how to manage whatever stresses are going on in your life. I think those two things are key. Um, I call this um, whole experience with my clients the pancake cuddle. The lure of the pancake cuddle was powerful. That pancake that I was eating felt like it was just snuggling me up. And you have to snuggle yourself up in other ways and look after yourself in other ways and, and feel that you are looking after yourself by making those choices to eat more healthily and to lose the weight. Hope that's helped.